Hi, my name is Callan Hedgelin, and I'm here today to talk about why America should invest in its youth and really unlock the potential of young entrepreneurs and college startups. Now, when you look at the agenda today, you're going to see we're going to be talking a lot about small business and particularly how young entrepreneurs play a factor into that and the right atmosphere that needs to be in place for ultimately a successful relationship. When you look at the current state of small business, you can see that it is a giant part of the nation's economy. 50% of the population works for small business and 65% of new jobs that have been created since 95 have been associated with small business. And while this is critical to the job growth of the economy, the young entrepreneurs kind of have a interesting take and relationship with small business. There's a lot of barriers for young entrepreneurs to create small businesses. They kind of have this weird way of being able to get student loans, but not necessarily being able to get a business loan. And they also have to prove to the business community that they ultimately are there for the long haul, that they are there because they have a business that they want to grow and it's not just some project. Um, there's also a lot of benefits for young entrepreneurs starting early at a young age. Uh, they don't have necessarily as many responsibilities as they will later on in life and they're more likely to take a risk and they're able to work the long hours needed to get a business off the ground. They, Like I said, they don't have as many responsibilities. And another hurdle that young entrepreneurs have is that the current collegiate organizational structure is not really set up to push startups and push entrepreneurs. It's set up to push college graduates into the job force. And while that is great and that's what gets more students to come to a university, it's not necessarily what a startup needs as they're going to be rejecting those job force offers and starting up their own businesses. But while they may not typically have this like standard system for pushing out startups, colleges really have a lot of benefits for encouraging startups to come out of their program. Um, when you simply look at financial benefits for universities, through an incubator model, which is where uh, startups would give a percentage of their company to a university in exchange for all of the help that it would provide, universities would actually be able to kind of create a monetary incentive for uh, backing startups. If they own a piece of every business that comes through them, the successful ones are going to generate the money. And there's a lot of other ways that universities can help. They can help with the credibility and help uh, young entrepreneurs get the funding they need. There's a lot of stuff that young entrepreneurs haven't been able to do before and uh, stuff like protecting intellectual property rights and taking their idea and actually turning it into a business and commercializing it along with a lot of other stuff these are things that colleges can help out with with the right program they also would start to be associated with the cutting edge side of technology when you think of the most well-known colleges you think of MIT and Stanford these have brilliant kids but they also have universities that are behind them and pushing for them to reach their full potential. Now a big piece of what young entrepreneurs need relies in the funding. Specifically, when you look at how funding is set up now for any business, you really have the choice of either getting some sort of loan or using money you already have, whether it's from previous businesses or whether you've saved it up and bootstrapped it or getting money from friends and family and relatives. And these cause a lot of hurdles for young entrepreneurs. They are people with few assets uh, to put as collateral on a loan. Uh, they don't have possibly any credit history or anyone willing to co-sign on a loan for them. And they don't have prior business experience to where these banks don't really have a reliable uh, kind of baseline to say, well, we're comfortable giving you a loan because you've done prior business. No, they haven't done that before. And so really the only options for young entrepreneurs are to save up their money or to give away a percentage of their company as equity in exchange for a loan. So 
The solution that I would propose would be to integrate external funding with a structured university program so that they can kind of play off each other and build successful uh, young startups. Now there are a few concerns with that when you consider that people are worried that young entrepreneurs wouldn't be able to provide the return on investment that a startup should. That 5 to 7% that investors normally look for. And these are large amounts of money in the loans. I mean, the minimum amount is usually going to be like a micro loan that would be $10,000, but it could range all the way to a million dollars from venture capital. And I would argue that while people think that students wouldn't be comfortable with this amount, I believe they are. These are students that may already have uh, six figures in student loans already. They understand the responsibility that is behind uh, these loans. There's also a worry of a high failure rate uh, with young startups compared to uh, kind of your typical standard startup. And I would also argue that while there may be some failure, there should be some failure um, with any system of startups. I would rather have a lot more companies successful with a maybe a little bit higher failure rate than to have a extremely low failure rate but hardly any businesses that have gotten off the ground. And there are already universities and collegiate systems kind of putting these these ideas into place. You look at the University of Pennsylvania and the $2.1 million incubator that they've already built within their college to help these young small businesses get off the ground. And Canada as a nation has actually taken this on by providing student loans but also business loans to where they are have given out $45 million to 9,000 companies since 2012. They are backing their young entrepreneurs. And what I would recommend is you can see that young entrepreneurs are pivotal to growing our nation's economy. And with the right support system, they can really reach the full potential that they have the ability to reach uh, with the right support system. And what I would ask of you today is to go out in the industry that you are in, whether that's education or just a general business industry, and promote supporting young entrepreneurs, whether it's through funding or through mentorship. There are people out there looking for assistance and looking for help because they haven't done it before. Do what you can to help them. Thank you.